Hello, folks. Yes, it's a neat time to blow up some more TNT stuff. Um, I've been working on one extra addition that I've been pondering about doing, which is to make it so that TNT is combinable. If you place them next to each other, they will explode all together at the same time. So this is your standard TNT. It makes a hole of radius 3. But two next together, then the radius becomes the square root of the count times the original radius. So the square root of 2 is 1.4 times uh, 3. This becomes over 4. So this second explosion is slightly larger with 2 TNT than with 1 TNT. And it follows the, uh, you know, the inverse square law rule. Those of you who like math. Uh, if we do 3 TNT, it will become a all of 5 Very nice, slightly bigger. We can do 4. And that will make a whole of also 5. Because we, oh, we actually had one escape. It's going to blow go. It shot away. That is possible. If it is actually getting ejected, which is now possible. Um, Let's do that again. Set them all off. Nope, they all got to explode it out. Oh, this will be a cave and it explodes to you. Um, I'll put them on rock for now, then they won't move around. One, two, whoops, that's not TNT. One, two, three, four. Set them all off, and that should make a hole of, I think it's six. There you go, there's a hole of six. Okay, we can keep going. There's actually a limit to this. Um, let's do 8. At 8 nodes of TNT, you're kind of hitting the uh, limit of what TNT can actually do. You saw that there's a little bit of lag there with 8 nodes. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do 9. Um, 1, 2, 3. Actually, we'll make a 3x3x3 three by three by three stack. Twenty-seven TNT. All right, did I do it? Two or three? Okay, it's three by three. Here we go. Set this off, and there you go. You can see the lag is starting to accumulate. However, nice thing about this is is that. Um, The server recovered relatively fast, did not go spinning away forever. Oh, we do have got some items to pick up, I'm not going to, but... As you can see, this this will help with uh, chain reactions, it will make it a little bit more friendly. So, what's this going to mean? If you, for instance, do something like this... It used to actually make quite a mess and take forever to explode. However, now when I explode this one... At least the first two will explode at the same time. That when it explodes this one, it will explode more of them at the same time. And so we'll actually make the explosion a little bit friendlier for the CPU. So let's just set this off. It should be three or four explosions. All right. If we do things like, I've seen people do this, just place a whole bunch of stuff across, this would completely break your server down. Alright, let's go see how this actually turns out. Since each of them would cause a change. That's actually already a lot better. That wasn't too bad. It returned and got me back to running quite quickly. You will have a lot of nodes dropped on the floor and actually shot around. So there you have it. TNT can now be uh, combined and stacked together to make bigger explosions. Yeah, explosions can be uh, quite large. Maybe I should try the maximum possible explosion just for kicks. Alright, so I know that I programmed it so that if you place a 5x5 five five cube of TNT, that it will attempt to blow them all up as one. So I need to grow an area of one. Take me a bit. I 
apologize. Should have prepared something. Okay. Two, layer two. I want to set them all off as a single explosion, so I'm going to make sure that they all fall exactly within 5 by 5 by 5, and I'll leave two out in the center from the top so that I can actually reach the the middle one. So this one here will be the one that I set off. And then I probably will have to run away. I have no idea. I have actually not tested this. So this is layer four. There's my hole that I need to save. And then we do one more layer up on top. So this is... 25 per layer times 5, 125 minus 2, so it's 123 TNT. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's going to take a second to update. It's already exploded. Um, according to my debug calculations, there is a radius of 33. Well, that actually worked pretty good. There's the radius of 33 explosion. Yes, and that's a single explosion. Took some time to update. There'll be lots of items on the floor everywhere. And hanging in the air, that's something that we still have to fix. However, eh, it worked as a single explosion. And that would be the maximum extent of an explosion that you can get with the standard TNT with this method. Alright folks, see you later.